Hello guys, welcome back in my channel again. Today we're gonna do PSP games on new Arcos. I update everything to the newest one. I've got Arcos on Linux plus also I've done Gamma OS on Android. I'm gonna do another video with Gamma OS. You will see how is the performance on Gamma OS also, but today I just want to do tests of PSP the newest Arcos, which one is possible on the market. It's end of the March and yeah, I'm really impressed about that device. That device is really good one. I really like it. How is the performance? How is the quality? And to be fair, at this moment, it's absolutely my favorite uh, budget device. Why I'm saying budget? Because as I said on previous video, on unboxing, I bought this very cheap for 50 quid for 50 pounds with shipment from AliExpress, which one was uh, promotion, one day promotion on AliExpress. And yeah, that's what I'm saying budget, because if I compare the possibilities of that device and other devices for uh, the same price, that one is my favorite at this moment. We're gonna start from God of War. I'm gonna show you my setups, everything, how I've got. Have fun and have a great day, guys. Let's go. Okay, my setup for God of War. I'm gonna show you just up to the bottom and just check it what I've got. Frame skip times one, rendering resolution times one, auto frame skip, unlimited both of them. Uh, lazy texture, I think it low spin. Hardware transfer have to be on, software skinning on, uh, upscale level off, filtering off also. And that's it. At this moment, that's it. Yeah, just I show you FPS and speed. That's why I put together that one. And yeah, we're just gonna do gameplay. Okay, let me put the camera a little bit down. You will see the frame rate. Remember, this is the newest Arcos, which one is possible to have. It's from end of the March. Now it's supposed to be a little bit slowed down. Is the one solution to get this 30 FPS? We will take the frame skip off also, skip buffer effect. And we've got 30 FPS. But one problem is we don't have sky now, yeah? Everything is dark on the top. If you don't mind about that and you want really smooth gameplay you can put that option on and you will see it's very smooth now. And we're going back now without this skip buffer you will see how it's working without that one ah wrong one Give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want. 
take my kingdom, my women, my gold. I won't take your riches, but I will take your life. Sometimes it's slowing down, it's better to put just times one resolution frame skipping times one. Sorry, frame skipping times two. They will be always on 30 FPS. As you see, it's pretty stable 30 FPS without any problems. Times 2 resolution for some reason is working fine, but some moments it just drop into 20 FPS and it start glitchy sometimes. As you see, just beginning when I put Nitro was a problem with frame rate, but now it's stable 30 FPS, even I've got someone around me. That wasn't nice. I just put times to resolution frame skips times one and yeah we will see. Pretty stable 60 FPS. Fight! 
Okay, the Warriors, I'm starting from times one resolution, frame skipping times one. And if it's gonna be good, I'm gonna put times two. But at this moment, I'm starting from one. Is running pretty well, even times two. Times two, frame skipping one, and we will see what's going on here. Oops. Sound a little bit choppy. I will try times two. Because upscale this looks very nice. Okay, 20 to 30 FPS. I will put times one then. She's supposed to be much smoother. Times two, out of frame skip, one. Should be fine. Target in the center. 
that's a foul. Soldado. <laughs> it's a yellow card here, a booking. He's waiting for the ball to go out and play. The referee came back and pulled him up for that fairly atrocious tackle. Another game, GTA Liberty City, is more demanding than Vice City. I've got rendering 1 and frame skipping times 2. And it's pretty not bad, guys. This run in stable 30 FPS. Good enough to play smooth that game.
Oh. We'll try to upscale. Wrong one. Times 230 FPS. Really nice. Bye. That's the setup times two, frame skipping times one. Thank <laughs> you. 
The last one is gonna be GTA Vice City because it's not everyone just watch my previous video from unboxing that I want to show you on PSP games the Vice City how it's working resolution times two frames keeping times one and let's go to play a game. Fly in the sky. Okay, maybe different car. Come on, where are you going? Oh, that's one better. I've been really surprised to see how smooth is working the GTA on that device because as we see we can upscale times two and this working really really good 30 fps good enough to play smooth that game with good fun yeah as i said on the previous video look at this an airport around 30 fps when you've got times two resolution which is really good You're gonna fly now. Yeah! Oops. Oh, that one nice. Come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't go. I'm gonna catch him. <laughs> Get off. Oh, yes. How many radios got? Okay. We are not happy about little bit slowdowns, just a little bit, as you see, sometimes it's just a little bit. Just go to times resolution 1, and now it's gonna be perfect smooth 30 FPS without, yeah. Come on, I destroyed already that nice car. Okay, damage. Boom, that's it. All right, guys, that's it for today. As you see, PSP, okay, quiet. PSP is running really smooth on that device. I really recommend if you got any chance to buy like me on the good promotion because it's very good deal. And this device is for me on the Game Boy. A form factor is the perfect device for me because it's powerful enough to play most PSP games. Some are choppy like Dante's Inferno. Like, uh, it's, it's just about 16 FPS when I was try by myself. Uh, but as you see, most of games which I show you, some of them are quite demanding and it's still working just fine without any problems. Sometimes you need to put the frame skip times one, sometimes times two. But when it's going around 30 FPS for me is good enough. Next time I will show you another uh, different demanding uh, systems for that console and also we're gonna try gamma os which one i already installed on that device thank you bye guys